from Las Vegas. It has been a hot second since I've been here, but I'm so excited because I think this is gonna be my most fun trip ever. These ladies Woo! and whole crew. So our first, first order of business is getting coffee because it's going to be a long day. Otherwise, I think we're gonna be up until 5 a.m. 6 a.m. <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll get back to the hotel by 8 a.m. Uh -huh. And it's what, 9.30 a.m. the previous day. And now we have to head to the Palazzo to pick up a parking pass, if I'm not mistaken, so that our limo driver has access to EDC. I'm getting so excited. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Not a problem, y'all enjoy tonight. Bye guys. So every hotel on the Las Vegas trip has something special about it, and usually it's seasonally changed. So in this case, it's like autumn, fall, Pumpkins, I love it, it's super pretty. I just realized that these are real pumpkins. This is freaking huge. Can like what? <laughs> So Jordan and I did a video on Las Vegas scams that you should avoid and one of them that I jokingly put in there was that sometimes the escalators are out of commission so I was like, ugh, it's 110 degrees outside, what a scam! And somebody took us seriously like, that's not a scam, there's hundreds of thousands of people that walk on those every day and they have to close them down for maintenance sometimes. But it is, it feels like a scam <laughs> when you have to use your leg muscles to walk up and down the stairs, so many stairs and so much walking in Vegas. But we do talk about actual scams and tourist traps that you're going to want to avoid in Vegas to have a better time, so I'll link that video right up here so you can watch it and be better prepared. So we decided to come to Mon Ami Gabi for breakfast, and the great thing is, if you sit out here on the patio and you time it right, you get a view of the Bellagio Fountain Show right across the street. So we're getting ready for EDC now. As you can see, I got part of my outfit going. This is not the complete product. And what else? We have Crystal over here, Tutu Central, in all color and sparkliness. This is amazing. I cannot wait to see what this looks like. And pretty much everybody is in full on getting ready for EDC mode. So everybody out here doing makeup. We've got tins of hair over here. <laughs> getting close. So the time is winding down to EDC. As you can see, I have done some color, some rainbow color here, and lots of glitter and some sparkles. The moment has almost arrived. We're just about ready to leave. We're all looking fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so fly. Oh, so fly. <laughs> Literally fly with the wings and everything. <laughs> So I hear that during EDC time, trying to get an Uber to the, what is it? The fairground? The, the Motor Speedway. Speedway. The Las yeah. Vegas Speedway can be a nightmare and really expensive. So that's why we're all here in this fabulous limo. And it'll be picking us up in the very wee hours of the morning. Hopefully. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. After all the lights in the club come back on. And, and the sun will be coming the up sun. at that point. The sun. Too. Beforehand, we learned that if anybody throws up in this limo, it's a $500 fee. But I think it's a, it's a conspiracy because of the way that this guy is driving. We're like, <laughs> as I was saying, <laughs> kind of like a carnival ride, pre-electric pre daisy drinking. carnival, pre-drinking too. Fun. Sober. We are sober <laughs> for now. <laughs> Goodbye, carnival limo. I hope we never see that driver again. To be honest, <laughs> this is where things get interesting. Okay, so we were just trying to go to the entrance of the marquee, what is it called? Sky the sky deck for the table that we got. But they're saying that it doesn't open until 8 p.m. We are supposed to get in at 5. That's when the op or we're supposed to get in at like 4 and 5 is opening ceremony. So we may have to walk around the entire speedway to the other side and hope that uh, the will call box, is it? Or the will call, whatever might have some way for us to get in. Now we're a bunch of weary travelers. The sun is intense. So after walking all the way around the speedway, because we were told that we could maybe get our wristbands that came with this table, we went to information desk at booth after booth after booth all the way around. 30 minute walk and we were told the only place that have, has them is here, the Marquis Sky Deck, but they don't have them for us and they won't have them until 7 p.m. which means we're sitting here in this sad little sitting circle on the purple carpet <laughs> until then just trying to 
past the time, so this kind of sucks. So after waiting here for many, many hours, we were all starving, and somehow, somehow, by a miracle, we were able to have the breeds delivered to the <laughs> Steel to the Motor Speedway, even though he almost didn't make it past, right? He almost right? didn't, no. <laughs> we had to walk all the way back to the road, talk to the cops, and beg the cops to let the guy give us our food. And so now we're sitting here in line, eating fries. Del Taco. Del Taco fries. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. All right, we got through security, we got <laughs> yeah, our wristbands. Wait, 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 this side. Yes, yeah. woo! Almost thought it wasn't going to happen, but here it is, it's happening. We made it. I almost didn't it. Now, we are on the party boat. Should I sit here? Yeah. <laughs> yes! Does this have a name? Is it the Rainbow Tunnel? Something like that. I don't know what all this is, but that looks like a stage, light up tower. This is wild. We just got off the shuttle and oh, I'm speechless. Crystal, I am in absolute disbelief right now. I had no idea it was this like elaborate and insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm like jumping out of my skin with excitement. Look at these pinata. Most of the sets at EDC, I unfortunately can't include the original audio because of copyrights, but Diplo was totally epic. It was a packed crowd, which is why we sat up in the bleachers, and the stage had some crazy lighting and fire effects.
is an EDC veteran, so she kept reminding us all to hold on to each other because it's unbelievably easy to lose your friends in the crowd, even when you're being careful. There's just that many people and it's so chaotic. I think that's actually a big reason people carry around those totems too. And here's another stage that we passed by which had some really intense smoke and lighting effects. I don't even think this video does it justice. Each stage typically has its own theme and different lighting and different cool stuff that's going on with it, and they each play a different genre of electronic music. <laughs> Holy shiz biscuits, Batman, we are finally getting into the sky deck. Trying to get access to our VIP table was a nightmare from start to finish. It's way too long of a story to explain it all, but suffice it to say, this marquee sky deck experience was the primary reason Saturday night fell apart for our group. It was cool to be above the crowd with a view to Kinetic Field, and we did try to make the best of things by dancing around and enjoying some drinks, but the VIP area got uncomfortably crowded, the staff really had bad attitudes, and we have strong suspicions that some unsavory characters messed with our drinks. Based on our experiences, I do not recommend wasting your money on Marquee Sky Deck. If you're gonna splurge, just go for the VIP wristbands. So this stage is like completely changing now. I feel like this stage is by far the coolest, biggest, most elaborate, and extravagant stage I've ever seen in my life, and all throughout the night I was constantly surprised by what it could do, fireworks that would come out of it, the water, and was like, is there any limit? Just amazing, completely amazing. some point I get over the shock factor of everything that there was to see and do at EDC, but I never did. Take this stage for example, it was so loud with such intense bass, it may have permanently changed the rhythm of my heartbeat. <laughs> We had a ton of fun dancing and watching the fruit people dance as well. There were actually professional dancers all over the place. At the end of the night, there was an amazing drone show performance and fireworks show. By 5 a.m. on this night, it was a miracle that we could say, we made it out before piling into the limo and heading back to the hotel. It is EDC night two and we are just heading in now. Woo! Yeah! I'm shocked that I'm alive for this because I think I slept like three, four hours last night and we're doing it all again. <laughs> so this is already kind of crazy because this is a whole part of EDC of the Speedway that I didn't even see last night. It's that big. There's other stages, there's different lighting, and different, I mean, what is even this? Look! Man, you can feel that like your heart. That was crazy. My camera all of a sudden feels very inferior next to this. <laughs>
without a doubt, the highlight of my EDC weekend was seeing Kaigo perform live at Kinetic Field. He opened up with Stole the Show with Parson James performing live. EDC, how are you feeling? singing off to the audience to join in, which was just so, so much fun, I cannot even describe. Another pleasant surprise was Sam from X Ambassadors also sang live to the song Undeniable. You just see one more time, make some noise for Sam from X Ambassadors! Give it up for Kygo! I'm definitely biased because Kygo is one of my favorite DJs of all time, but to me, this was the best set at EDC, hands down. I danced my ass off and sang at the top of my lungs to every song while getting full body goosebumps with each new one that came on. A little part of me is dying inside that I can't actually share the music with you because again, copyright strikes, womp womp womp. What I will say is that if you ever, and I mean ever, have the chance to see Kaigo perform, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Seriously do it. <laughs> I also want to point out that during his set, there were these guys holding a Mexico flag, Viva Mexico, and also this guy with a blow-up glowing crayon, which cracked us up the entire time. But seriously, you guys, the stage lighting, look at this lighting. The fireworks, so many fireworks. There were dancers up there and glowing, freaking lava-looking waterfalls, then fog that was going out, and then the lights going through it just looked so insane. This was one of the best moments of my entire life. I literally could have died of happiness overload. I wish I could redo the whole thing again and again and again and again and again. Ah, oh, Kaigo, such the best. So as you can see here, they once again had a spectacular fireworks show and this really cool drone performance where it looks like there's probably hundreds up there choreographed to look like certain things. People, EDC words. Not too long after this, we decided to call it a night and make the very long walk back to our car. One huge recommendation I have, don't go with the cute shoes. Go with the comfortable shoes or your feet will hate you. My feet were screaming. They felt like they were broken. They hurt so bad, <laughs> but absolutely 1000% worth it. Oh, EDC is the best. So if I look a little bit rough around the edges this morning, it's because I think I'm running on approximately six hours of sleep across the entire weekend. <laughs> absolutely, totally worth it. I think I'm gonna go to EDC every single year now because that was a phenomenal experience. What I will say is I do not recommend getting a table. Do we agree? We are in agreement. <laughs> Getting a <laughs> VIP idea. table, that was a f***ing nightmare. A nightmare. So don't recommend doing that. Uh, I'm very, very thankful that I brought earplugs, hand sanitizer. I also brought a couple extra things that we didn't use, like deodorant and mouthwash, because you are there for 12 hours or more. <laughs> Another piece of advice I have after going to EDC this time is that you will absolutely not have any cell service. I remember sending a text to Crystal, and she didn't get it for three or four hours after that, so it's really easy to lose your friends, really easy to basically be out of touch with everyone. So what sometimes people will do is set up a Wi-Fi, a free Wi-Fi, so that they can actually get your information. They can hack into your bank accounts and stuff because you're desperate to get connected. So a trick that I have is to get a VPN. And what a VPN does is encrypts your data and make sure you're completely safe. So if you do need to connect to some type of Wi-Fi or whatever, you can do that. Our preferred provider is found at tangerinevpn.com. So if you head there, that link will forward right to their website. Again, that's tangerinevpn.com. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had making it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel because we regularly post Vegas videos and videos about our life and traveling in Mexico. On the screen here is a playlist of all the videos that we've ever made in Vegas so you can learn tips and tricks, how to avoid getting scammed, and how to save money and have an awesome time. Gong that bell! <laughs> and gong that bell so you get notified the next time we release a new video and we'll see you again on Saturday morning.